Hello everybody, this is Garage Sale Blogger here. In this video, we're going to give three tips on how to advertise your garage sale. Tip number one, create a newspaper ad. If you want to drive major traffic to your garage sale, fork up the money and pay for an ad in your local newspaper. But before you write your ad, find out how much space you get for the price you're willing to pay. If you go over, you'll end up paying per word, which can get very expensive fast. Keep your ad short and pointed and list your biggest ticket items first. The most popular garage sale items include furniture, kids toys, and collectibles. Don't forget to include your address as well as dates and times your sale will run. A huge tip is consider advertising in your local paper as well as major daily newspapers in your area. Most local papers charge $15 or less for ad space and every home in the area gets a free copy, which means more potential customers for you. Tip number two, advertise online. There are dozens of websites where you can advertise your garage sale for free. Post an advertisement on and as many as you want, but aim for at least three. For example, I would use Craigslist, Yard Sale Search, and Garage Sale Hunter. You'll have more wiggle room in the text of your online ads since most websites give you a generous word count. Feel free to describe your items in detail, but avoid sounding like a marketing executive. Simply tell people that you have and when you'll have it, and let their own imaginations work out how wonderful it is. Also, don't post your ad too early. If you're holding your garage sale on a Friday, it should go up Wednesday night or Thursday afternoon. It's also great to utilize free social media marketing sites to get the word out in your local area. Now, write your ad in a word processing program. Simply copy and paste it in each listing website site. This will save you the hassle of retyping it over and over again. Final tip, make yard sale signs. Check the laws in your area before making garage sale signs as some places have banned them. A clerk at your local police station can tell what you can and cannot do. If you're allowed to make signs, I've found that brightly colored poster board and a sharpie is all you really need. Make sure your sign says garage sale large enough for people to see as they drive by. Include your address or an arrow pointing towards your house. Wood paint stirrers make great posts for sticking garage sale signs in the ground. You can get the stirrers free from most home improvement stores. Thank you all for watching today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Garage Sale Blogger, for more tips on how to make a successful garage sale. As always, take care. God bless.